Salutations, Wet Shaver Spencer here, back for a shave video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing like sort of like an instruct instructional type sort of video. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people have a certain gripe about the Razorine, which I personally absolutely love these razors. I think they're awesome. Comes in these awesome bags too. They, it's like velvet. It's absolutely beautiful. Such good packaging. You just pop it in. And uh, it's got the zip tie on it as well to tighten it up. Makes it perfect for travel. So this is my absolute favorite for travel. Um, I really, really like this razor. And I have been testing different types of ways to hold it. You know, different ways, like sort of holding it like a shave at, you know, with a finger under here somewhere to try and keep the balance of what I'd previously found most successful was sort of like a closed fist like that. That's what I've recently been doing. And then now it's becoming a lot easier. I'm focusing on two fingers instead of wrist action, making my hands more efficient. <laughs> oh, this video is terrible. Um, so basically, bring your two fingers really close up to the head, right? Right as close up to the tip as you can before you cut yourself. Right there, and they're what you need to concentrate on. They are what is going to give you that mobility and it really helps you sort of navigate uh, around your face a lot better than holding it back here because I was doing that at the start and um, it, it just wasn't working as well. Um, felt fine, it shaved perfectly fine, but every time you're sort of striking at it, because it's very head heavy, um, it, it's sort of easy to sort of lose that angle a little bit and it just makes the shave a lot more uneven, uh, a little bit more uncomfortable, um, and overall you just don't get as good an experience. So. What I've found, like I showed you guys up here, is a lot better and I'm going to be using it like that in today's shave. The blade that I've got in here is my favourite blade for the Razorine. For some reason I think it just works an absolute treat. <laughs> it's the Treat Platinum. Uh, these things work absolutely fantastically. These are one of my favourite brands of blades. I think they are incredibly sharp. They feel silly sharp to me. Uh, where are they made? They are made in la 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 Pakistan. They feel fantastic. These are one of my favorites. I do have the Dura Sharps as well, and you can also get like the black carbon blades. They're pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, so that's the hardware for today, as well as a brush that has not been used for a long time. If you guys remember a while ago, I rated. Um, my favorite brush, I'm pretty sure it was my favorite brush or like highest value brush or something like that, the Masetto Shaving Two Band Badger. I had um, quite a few months ago gotten a new handle for that and it just hasn't gotten use. I don't know why because the handle is one of my favorites. It's called the Roman and it's made by an Australian man here called Tony Forsyth. And you can tell why it's called the Roman. It's got that real medieval sort of pillar look to it. I think it looks beautiful. Um, really, really kick ass with the really dark gold and dark red. It's got the crimson, it's got the black. It's just a beautiful handle. Like you, you really need to get the lighting right for this to be absolutely beautiful. And um, oh, it's awesome. You can already see the gel tips in that knot there. It's really, really good. Um, only thing with this Masetto when it came to me, um, it was set quite low. Well, it's because the glue bump comes up quite high and that's a little bit of a pain in the bum because I'd prefer this to be a little bit higher of a loft. He did it as high as he could, um, but obviously he doesn't want the glue bump being there and I can I can literally just feel it. It's He's done it level to the brush, which is fantastic. But that's it. That's probably the only gripe. So for a 28 mil brush, it doesn't hold much lather. But for me, one, two pass shaves, fantastic. It works a treat for me. Soap and Splash. I'm going one of my all time favorite vegan soaps. I used one in the last shave and it worked pretty well. Um, but this one I know is better. Face Fat, made here in Australia over in Perth. Uh, Craig, Mr. Stanners, he, made, he makes some awesome soaps. This one is in lavender, it's a dark lavender. Dark Lavender Essential Oil. Um, it's very, very dark, and I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I love that scent. It's beautiful. 
and pair that up with I'm going Champs de Lavande by Chatillon Lox. I do have the soap for this as well, but I just really wanted to use face fat um, today just to just to give vegan soaps a little bit more credit. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to wet the brush, flick it out a little bit, and just heavily load this one because it's a fatter knot. It's quite dense. It needs that little bit of an extra load to it. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, Health-wise, a lot better, which is good. Just gonna add a little bit of water to this. I think Craig did a fantastic job with this. Really good soap base. One of the closest vegan soaps that if it didn't, if it, um, if I read the ingredients list, if I didn't read the ingredients list, sorry, I'd uh, probably almost call it the tallow soap. <laughs> it's really good. All right, let's wet the face. Cold water shave as per sort of normal. I will start getting into hot water shave soon. It's coming into winter. And I live along the beach now, so winds get freaking freezing along here. All right. Oh God, I love this handle. It's just divine. Oh my God, this knot. <laughs> I forgot how good this knot is. Beautiful lavender scent coming out. Instant gorgeous lather. Really, really good. Takes a decent amount of water for a um, vegan soap base too. I tend to find that's another difference between most vegan soaps and um, tallow is um, the lack of water retention. Just from the ones that I've used. Look at that, that's white as day, that's gorgeous. Oh, this stuff's slick. <laughs> awesome, Craig, you did a mad job on this. Right, razor rain in the gorgeous chrome. I mean, it's that attention to detail, man. So. The silver ones, they come out in a black and silver case, whereas the gold ones come out in a dark maroon and gold writing case for the gold ones. I, I, it's just that attention to detail for me is incredible. And he said most of the time spent on razor reins is polishing the damn things to make sure they are spick and span when they get here. And I have to say, it definitely was. Um, not a single mark on it, and it's all just flat, beautiful, polished um, brass, and it's just gorgeous. Um, people also have been asking me for my opinion on the Razor Rock switch, I think it's called. Um, so see, bring the fingers closer up to the top. The main thing I'm concentrating on is my thumb on the back of the head. For me, it makes it really stable. Makes the head really, really stable. So if you guys struggle with holding the razor in, give this a go. So sort of press on the back there. Gives me stability. It's been the best sort of way of holding it in my opinion. Um, yeah, but yeah, because I think there's been a bit of back and forth going on between Razorine and uh, the, I keep going to call it the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> Razor Rock Switch. Um, I, I mean, to me, they're two different products. One is, you know, a switch back and forth, sort of pick on the day on what you want. To me, the head looks a little bit too bulky over the Razorine to get under the nose. For me, personally, because this is just... I mean, that's so easy. And to me, the razor ring looks a little bit more classy just because it's that single, single just flow of metal. I, I, it's hard because I, 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 I haven't shaved with the uh, switch, so I can't judge it straight away. It's 
So that's literally just about basing it on looks. In which I, it's for me, it's a easy win for the Razor Rain. Um, and I think in the market that this is in, um, most people don't really want to switch between the DE and a Kamasori style Shavet. Oh, by the way, please don't think I'm a Razor Rock or Italian Barber hater at all because one of my absolute favorite soaps is, and I've even got it on my top shelf at the moment, Amici. <laughs> What a steal for the price. Um, so yeah, please don't think that I'm having a go at Razor Rock um, because I'm not, I, I don't have anything against Razor Rock at all. Um, but yeah, this is just my view on the two. Once again, I have to say, I have never shaved with the Razor Rock Switch, I'm just going off looks. Um, yeah, there's a bit of banter and stuff going around on the Twitter page and... Some people just... being really, really insensitive. But um, <laughs> that happens on uh, Twitter when people are behind a screen, isn't it? It's, um... I learnt that quick smart. With uh, doing YouTube videos, you learn it quick smart. <laughs> People don't care. God, I love using lavender. My God, I, I had all my lavender stuff pretty much put away. Um. Back when I was at my mum's place. And then Manny did the, um, Manny over at SoCal Shave did the month of lavender. And oh, see that residual slickness compared to the Trigodon, it's not even competition. Face fat wipes the floor with it. So if you guys are right up in there, uh, right up in there, uh, right up uh, with your vegan soaps, check out face fat. Beautiful stuff. I've got a message, Craig. It's been a long time since I've talked to him. You watched the video, mate? I hope you're doing awesome. Hope work's treating you well, as well as shaving side of things. I think last time I talked to him, he'd gotten a carb and he was just a huge carb raiser. Either that or he'd just ordered it. Cannot remember for the life of me. Because my memory is as bad as Chris's. But yeah, I think the only gripe that I would ever have about Razorine. is uh, each time you load a blade into it, generally you'll have to align the blade. Takes like five seconds, it doesn't take long. But I've seen that it's something that a few people comment on, so I just thought I'd uh, put it out there. But it's basically the only thing that I could think about complaining with. These uh, Treat Platinums are more on the aggressive side of things. They've got that real sharpness to them. They've got a really good edge. Um, they feel fantastic. If you are someone who really likes the feel of a feather, that sort of style. Um, these will be right up your alley. Um, for a daily shave, these things are pretty good, but they're amazing on a few days growth.
And Razorine, having a real slim profile head, it also adds the advantage of being amazing at buffing. So generally, bigger size heads will have that more friction when you've got it up against your face of metal. Um, and if you don't have a soap that has incredible residual slickness, you'll feel that. You'll feel a little bit of drag. It feels like a little bit of resistance. It's not tuggy or anything. Like the razor won't be tuggy itself, depending on um, the razor and um, blade combo that you're using. But um, it'll stop that sort of really smooth glide. I've noticed that with the Mongoose SE that I've got. Um, I'm actually selling my SEs. Uh, I'm just wanting to try and stay to double-edged blades. So if you guys attempted at all in a Mongoose SE, uh, really, really awesome razors. Uh, Colonial General um, SE. Above the Thai SE1, um, I think they're the only ones that I've got. Um, they're, they're up for grabs if you want them. Just either put a comment down or email me or something. Chuck it in the comments and I can give you my email or something like that. That was an awesome shave and we're going to be having an awesome aftershave. Chatillon Lux has probably some of the best aftershave qualities I've ever used. Um, almost up there with, uh, you know, your Barbado. Um, I mean, that's my number one. I think that's incredible. And then like um, Brussels Elixir, I think that's a beautiful aftershave as well. Um, completely different aftershave finishes. Uh, Barbados more in your winter times because it leaves not really oily um, residue, but it, it does leave your face with that slick, um, really hydrated sort of feel. So if you're prone to dry skin, um, Barbado might be a really good option. Um, whereas if you're prone to oily skin, something like Elixir or Chatillon Lux might be where you need to go. They, these are just phenomenal. I really, really like the feeling of these. Where are these made? Handcrafted in uh, South St. Louis. Louise, yeah. St. Saint, Saint Louis, Missouri. I can pronounce Missouri, but not Louis because I never know whether it's Louis or Louis. Yeah, South St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, because I remember there was a wrestler um, from there. Oh. Gorgeous. It's got menthol. Just fantastic. Does it have menthol, actually? I thought I remember it having menthol. Yeah, menthol. <laughs> thought I was going crazy for a second. I knew it had menthol, and I didn't feel it for a bit, but there it is. Oh, this is like a really good mix between Barbado, not quite as oily a finish as Barbado, oh, but it gives you a really hydrated feel. Um, so if you've tried Barbado and not Chatillon Lux, give it a go. And if same other way around, if you've not tried um, Chatillon Lux and you like Barbado, give it a go. Really, really nice. Lavender, perfect for evening shaves. Best scent you could probably go for in the evening. I've got a weeper here. As you can see, I've gotten into a little trouble spot there. Oh, well, that's all right. What did I use my last shave? It was an adjustable, Gillette Slim adjustable. That's all right. That's always been a trouble spot for me. It clears up during the day. <laughs> that's all that matters. Um, that was the shave, guys. So, Razorine, let me know your thoughts. Team Razorine or Team uh, Razor Rock Switch. Um, for me, I can only base it off looks, and from that, it's going to go the Razorine. I just can't imagine that head getting under a lot of people's noses, but I haven't held it in person, so I don't really know. And I feel like going from that SE style over to DE is a little bit more gimmicky than just a straight-up Camisori style, because this is... What you see is what you get. That's what you're going to show you with. But with the switch, you know, it's... I, I don't know. To me, it feels like a Samsung kind of vibe where they just innovate something and just see whether it takes off, which is... That's what competition is. And that's what, um, that's what happens in the business game. <laughs> and it's completely, completely uh, normal. <laughs> you guys take care. Stay safe. Stay positive, guys. And... Uh, one of my favorite mottos now, don't get sick. <laughs> don't get sick, it sucks. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.